Thank you. Happy to be here, man. Tim Couch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Took me back in the day. Yeah, yeah that's my man right there. One of my mentors. So, what's this pre-draft process been like for you? It's been fun. You know, um, you start to learn more about yourself, more about different teams, and what their philosophy is. You know, on the ball, off the ball, defensively. So it's been great to see you know different you know, strategies that teams use. But um, I'm just happy to be here, man. You know, I'm blessed to. Put on the NBA, you know, gear um, at my size, you know, it's unlikely to be here. So I'm just, you know, happy and blessed. To be here. You, you mentioned your size. I'm sure you're tired of answering questions about being an under six feet point guard. But the the Wizards, the Bullets, all the under six feet point guards seems to have played here, like Earl Boykins and Muggsy Bogues and Isaiah Thomas. Mm -hmm. Does that uh, lineage mean anything to you? I mean, it's definitely, you know, a legacy left, you know, with undersized uh, guards here. Uh, Muggsy, you know, I speak to Muggsy, you know, occasionally. You know, just give me some insight on what it is to be a smaller guard, how to get that, get to that next level. I spoke to DJ Augustine, you know, so a lot of guys have been giving me, you know, some, some wisdom on how to not just get here, but to excel at the next level. And I just, you know, glad to be a part of the Wizards um, workout. Um, it was definitely fun, competitive, and it was good energy. You showed a lot of people what you were capable of in that NCAA tournament. Just what else can you really show, you know, when you're at these practices to take that level to the next step? Um, I just want to show everything, you know, that I'm able to play, you know, on the NBA level, display my size. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of intangibles that I think I can bring to a team. You know, I'm a good teammate. You know, I, I'm a hard worker. Um, I'm a defend. You know, whether you five seven or seven, you know, four. I'm going to go out there and compete, you know, and I'm going to bring a winning attitude, you know, and that's what I think I could bring to every organization, you know, and I'm good. You um, set the NCAA record for assists in a tournament game, I think. Um, so passing is obviously a big part of what you do. How can you showcase that in these workout settings? Um, first, you got to understand who you, you know, playing with, um, and you just got to get a feel for it. I mean, passing is fun to me. You know, I like to add my different flares, you know, my passes, whether that be between the legs, behind the backs. Um, but, you know, just, you know, there, there's a lot of good bigs that's working on this pre-drive process. So, you know, I just try to tell them, keep their hands ready, you know, be ready for anything. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just fun. You know, I'm just happy to be here. First of all, first of all, how you doing? I'm good, man. I see you behind your ear, faith. What does faith mean to you? Um, faith is everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, God is everything, you know. Um, and I want to use this platform to inspire kids and people all around the world, just to uh, you know get tap into faith um, because you know there's some good things you know behind it. You, know, it's, you can always count on God, you know, um, through it all. And you know He's guiding me through some some tough times, and He also you know blessed me, which you know I seen the March Madness. So you know, I just keep that in the back of my mind, keep that right you know behind my head, and just you know, live my life with faith. Beat to it, but I'm gonna go back to Muggsy for a second. He always talks hard over hype. Yeah. Message for a young guy that may be 5'7", 5'9", but his dream is to come here. You live in proof. What can you give him? Um, continue to keep working, man. Don't don't tell, don't let anybody tell you you can't do anything. It's not what's on you. It's what's in you, and what's in you they can't take away. So you know, just you know, hard over hype is a mentality. Um, it's how you approach every single day with that mentality that you gonna get better and get 1% better, and you're gonna achieve and overcome, you know, obstacles despite, you know, what people are telling you. And last one for you, a lot of guys I talked to said they have a why that keeps them motivated. What is your why? My why is my family, you know, my mom, my dad, and, you know, the, the people back home. Um, I feel like I have a deeper um, living than just basketball. I feel like I can inspire kids all around the world that may look like me. Um, under, undersized, and you know, I could just tell people about God through this platform. So I just feel like I have a deeper why than What other teams uh, do you have workouts scheduled with? Dallas, Indiana, Phoenix, uh, and the Clippers. Yeah, trying to keep it at a minimum. <laughs> Traveling with oh, yeah, legs sure. a little bit. I just want to go back. You said mostly he's giving you some advice and some insight. What has he told you that's kind of stuck with you throughout the process? Um, he gave me a couple things. You know, the, the most important thing was like just keep being a good person. 
you know, being a good person is so underrated, you know, and it could get you into a lot of doors. So he was like, just pe keep being a good person, um, continue to keep doing what got you here, um, because I made it thus far, so don't try to be nothing, you know, I'm not, and just continue to keep building, continue to keep growing. And you talked about how this process also, this also teaches you things about yourself. Is there anything that you've uncovered that you're learning about yourself as you go? Um, yeah, like just, you know, staying mentally strong throughout this whole process because you could be traveling, um, you could be, you know, you're doing a lot of different things and you got to stay disciplined with your eating habits, with your hydration, with taking care of your body. So I do a lot of, you know, ice baths when I get to the hotel, you know, I relax it a bit, I stretch. So just staying disciplined um, is key because in the NBA you got 82 games, not including the playoffs. So, you know, just being consistent and staying disciplined is what I really like. You mentioned the multiple uh, different draft workouts you have to do and the travel and everything like that. How are you able to kind of keep your body in that in that physical shape to to go to all these different workouts and, and give a hundred percent because you know these guys are watching to, to see what what you're made of. Um, I just be intentional about you know the things I'm eating, the workouts that I'm doing. Um, I try to recover as much as possible. Um, when you travel, you, know, you try to wear tights, you know, on a plane. Um, so there's a lot of different things that I'm doing to keep my body, you know, ready. I just came off of Dr. Back uh, yesterday. I was at Utah. Today I'm at the Wizards. Now I'm about to go to L.A. So, you know, you just got to be real intentional on what you're doing. You got to stay hydrated for the most part. And, you know, you just got to – it's a grind. I mean, I wouldn't rather be anywhere else rather than traveling and playing basketball for them. So it's a blessing. They couldn't do Utah, then L.A., and then here. <laughs> yeah, I know. But – Thanks a lot, man. Thank Thank you. Good luck moving forward.